Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you first of December. The morning after the evening of Jay Powell being dovish. He was he wasn't super dovish, but he everyone was expecting him to be super hawkish. We talked about the dovish side being the side to trade. Uh we didn't we didn't profit from his dovishness. We were caught a little bit off guard um, by the whole thing. So now we're just starting fresh again this morning. Cable is 200 points higher from where it closed at the fix. Uh, dollar yen is 250 points lower. Um, so there's a lot to dig into here. Let's uh, let's start with Euro. Um, Euro. Down to 102.92. That was at the fix yesterday. Uh, big cable sales, um, dollar buys in general, uh, dragged euro all the way down to 102.92, 104, 104.90 is huge, right? This looks like it's 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 uh, in play here. Um, so let's just be prepared. Um, 105 the figure maybe 10501 this looks like a break trade what could be the driver here um i don't know could be i mean not much in europe i mean we have final manufacturing pmi could do something you saw the german retail sales were just out they were horrendous uh, but that didn't really doesn't really have too much of effect on um on euro dollar um, we obviously in this in the US we have core PCI which is going to be huge 230 and ISM uh, at four so probably uh, driven by US markets let's keep an eye on it here uh, but 10490 is huge cable uh, 200 day is 121.50 we're sellers up there um, looking for a sort of a double top the uh, 121.53 was the high four days ago uh, we got clipped a little bit gave some of our profits back last night selling cable um, such as such as life in the business dollar yen uh, 136 uh, 137.50 now uh, is going to be a ceiling that doesn't help you much at 136.10. The 200-day is at 134.40. Been a been a long time since we've been below the 200-day. That was uh, that was April 2021. Um, so. Should be support first time 134. It's been so long we've seen it. Usually there's good support um, when it's been a while. Dollar Swiss back down to 94 cents. We are not buyers of Dollar Swiss as we were earlier in the week down here. Uh, we feel like this could probably get down to 93.50 at the minimum and maybe even take a little tickle down to 92.50. So careful on that. Euro Sterling not doing anything. Euro CAD. Not doing anything. Cad yen back on its knees. This is dollar yen driven. Uh, 101.37 was the low the other day. Um, Cad yen looks like uh, you might be able to scoop this stuff up down near uh, 101 the figure. Um, but again, it doesn't help too much here. Kiwi. Dollar being sold, risk on. Also, some positive news out of China. They're going to be less rigorous with their testing. Um, so, this is good news for that region, that part of the world. Kiwi is on fire through the 200 day. As, is, as our stocks, have a look at ES. Bam. Just plowed through that thing. 40.55. Closed up at 41. Nobody has this, right? Everyone's short uh, stocks. This um, I don't I, I don't see any reason why this won't continue. Uh, let's see what the releases in the states are going to be. But stocks have caught people by surprise here. Um, let's go back. Dollars are 
1690 held. Not sure why dollars are went through the roof up there. That must have been some czar news. Um, bad news in South Africa. Well, you never see that. Um, wow, it's a big day. Big day yesterday for Dollar Czar. That looks pretty bullish. I'd have to dig in and see what the hell is going on uh, in the land down under down there. Um, huh. Czar not looking too good. Kiwi Yen, let's see where that is. Mid-range. Euro Norway oil is bid 80.23. Um, Euro Norway coming off. Obviously, Norway uh, does well when oil's higher. Uh, 1022 is kind of an interesting neckline. If you want to trade Naki, um, pretty close. We're not trading that today, but uh, something something to watch. It'll give us some rooting interest um, somewhere. And dollar max. Man, Sinaloa cartel. Buying at 19. Selling at, selling at 19.50. Um, that's some whipsaw there, right? A big reversal up to 19.44 and then back down now. With risk on and oil higher and dollar lower, uh, dollar max can go lower. You would expect dollar turkey to be lower, but then again, it's turkey. So it's just sitting up here at its uh, nosebleed highs. Um, no idea, dollar turkey. We're going to sit and watch a little bit. Obviously, all eyes are on 104.90 in euro dollar. Um, and we're going to watch 121.50 and maybe do a careful fade up there. That's our plan for the day. Looks like the back end is going to be all the action, as in out of the U.S., core PCI, 230, and then ISM manufacturing at 4. Good luck out there, people. Make some dough. You deserve it.